morning, Arthur. Good morning, Arthur. Ladies. Hey there. Yes, kid. You got a lot on? Ah, uh, just hunting for all this hillbilly gold that Dutch and Hosea seem to think is out there just waiting to be stolen. <laughs> Why? I got something. Could be good. Yeah? Yeah, I was in Rhodes talking to some of the colored folk. They said there's a gang of fools holed up in the swamps east of here who think their war ain't never ended. The Civil War? Yeah, apparently it's still raging in these fools' minds 30 years later. Okay. That ain't my point. These ignorant fools are weapon dealers. And in their dealings, sometimes sit on a decent pile of cash. Yeah, have been selling weapons to Cuba and South America for years. Anyway, the old boy I was talking to reckoned there might be a bunch of cash just sitting around. And failing that, maybe a nice stash of weapons. With just a bunch of crazies, Gardner? Exactly. Well... Worth taking a look at least, isn't it? That was my thinking. Said it was at some place called Shady Bear, deep in the woods. Okay. <laughs> All right, then. Let's go rob some food. Come on, it's this way. On me. Uh, yeah. That's it. Yeah. You know, I might have met these crazies before. You've been drinking again? No. Well, yes, but no, that's not how I might have met them. I think some of them harangued me and Sadie when we were coming back with supplies. Mrs. Adler? Yeah. And Mrs. Adler did just fine. More than fine, actually. She's terrified. But I got a notion these fellers is one and the same. Yeah, we won't find no shortage of angry Peckerwood idiots in the state of Lemoyne. That's for sure. Is it really that different in this state? We haven't come far. It seems like it is. These boys got a manner about them, but I haven't necessarily noticed. All respect, Mr. Morgan. You wouldn't notice. Might call you a nigger lover. They see us riding like this. But most of it is a, a glance or a word. And after that, a visit in the night. Well, out west is... Out west is out west. And you're all who you are. Decent folks. But some places down here, they judge different. Well, I don't know. Guess it can't be so easy for you, Lenny. I'm sorry you're caught up in this. Well, I guess their gold still shining. And their guns still shoot. <laughs> so I'm game for robbing any and every one of these bastards for all they got. <laughs> okay, then. Plus... It beats being lynched back in Blackwater with all of you by my side. I guess it does. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, good girl. Hey, you're okay, girl. Feels like we're close. 
It's a rundown old plantation house down in the bayou somewhere. Let's take it slow. Be cautious. If, like you say, these crazies are sitting on weapons, we don't want to strategize a little before getting shot at. <laughs> of course. They said find the old battlefield and keep on going. Yeah, I've been here before. I can see the wrecked old Civil War weaponry. Where are the wrecked old Civil War holdouts? You see that church up? Up ahead? They're supposed to use it as an outpost. Heard they got men going between here and the big house all day. Okay. At this field. <laughs> Imagine getting caught up in a fight like this. Yeah, I don't care to. Hold those reins in. Let's just take a look around the place. I hear you. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's here. We don't know that for sure. Let's have us a nosy. Say something if you're gonna stop, okay? Yeah. Hear that? Someone's on the track. Look there, a wagon. Let's see where he's going. You're on me now. Right behind you. Let's keep our distance. Just two fellers out on the road. Those crates in the back, they look like explosives to you? Could be. Worth a follow, at least. All right. I think I see something. End of the avenue, between the trees. Might be it. Might be. Keep it steady. Hey, big plantation house. <laughs> Must be Shady Bell. I reckon we can leave our mounts up there, off the trail. Good enough to me. Come on. We can get a view on them from that wall up there. Make sure you bring your sharpshooter. I'll take the other side. You get in cover there. See anything? Yes. Yes. They're here, all right. And they're armed. Almost a militia. Hey, hey, to the left of you. Hey, we came all this way. So can you look again and see if you spot anything? You ain't seen anything worth shooting the ceiling? Can you look again for me? I know dynamite crates when I see them. We got something, right? Oh, we got something. We can hit them head on, fight them honest. Or you could go down there acting friendly. Friendly? With these folks? Just draw them into one spot, then I'll start shooting. Well, that might be the dumbest idea I've ever heard. But hey, I'm always up for a performance. You gonna make a call? Going in, kid. Give them both barrels a charm. Wouldn't try anything less. Uh, 
Uh, today is a fine and fabulous day, as all days, and so may it be. <laughs> Praise be, my people. What do you want? Praise be, my people. Praise be. <laughs> now, I come in peace to discuss the merit <laughs> of glory and interest you in eternity. <laughs> Praise be, my Just people. Just a moment be. longer. Now, uh, are you? Uh, have you? Will you be saved, my brother? Praise be. Huh? <laughs> Praise be. I want you out of here now, boy. Hey, praise be, my people. Praise be. I said, get out of here. Uh, praise be. Or a, a, a great miracle shall strike you down, my family. <laughs> something to get out. Sounds like a plan. These fellas dealing arms. There might be guns in these wagons. You got anything? Not yet. This stuff's too old to bother with. We're pushing it, Morgan. I know, but I still ain't found nothing. Hey, this could be promising. What do you got? 
Here. Come on. This is full of new rifles. We can sell those, right? We sure can. We'll check the rest later. Now, come on. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Get this back to camp. Yep. 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 Okay. Keep a cool head. What's the black feller doing coming out of Shady Bell? In one hour whack. Yep. something to show like this. Sean's a loudmouth brag. Don't worry about what Sean does. Hey, I like him, you know? Well, so do I. I guess my better judgment. Just you worry about you. He wasn't on Leviticus Cornwall's train with me. We had to dig him out of Blackboard. But... Enough, but nothing. Me and Dutch, and everyone who counts, we know what you do for this gang. We notice you. Keep it up. You're gonna start seeing things change for you. Okay then. Okay. Thank you, Arthur. Yeah. in these trees up here. Let's get there. Arthur, Lenny, coming back. These are fine rifles. Right? I'm gonna keep one, just for me. Hey, I always enjoy riding with you, kid. <laughs> you know how to fight. Hey, you too. Anytime, Arthur. Sit on those rifles too long. Sure thing. Well, handle it quick, please. Okay, I'll catch you later then. All right, off. Flatter me. 
Tell me some stories about when you was young and pretty before time ravaged you. You horrible man. <laughs> That's right. Mm. Micah. Still can't believe I lost that knife game to you. You sure are a long way from Blackwater now. Right. Best to just put it behind us. All right, Morgan. Lenny and I raided a big old house in the swamps. Stole some guns. Good work. Yeah, it's a pretty good spot. Well hidden. Hey, Tilly. Evening. Well, I should get back to it. Okay. Just so you know, I'm gonna kill them. I'm gonna kill all of them. Who, Mrs. Adler? Those old Driscoll's. I'm gonna find them and kill each and every one of them bastards. Just watch me. You've had a bad time, but... But we ain't in the revenge business. It don't keep you fed. <sighs> Just watch me. We couldn't stand him neither. Evening, Arthur. <sighs> Long day, Arthur. All right. You ain't out of it again, are you? I resent the accusation, Mr. Morgan. Take it easy. Yeah, yeah. Okay, girl. Okay, there. Hey, Arthur. What are you doing? Selling it back to where it came from. Why? I ain't got a market for it. They made it. They must have someone to sell it to. <coughs> Stuff look kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. I should get going now. I'll leave you fellas to it. Good luck. Thank you, John. We'll see you later. Dutch asked him to look into something to do with the Braithwaite horses, I think. Sure, okay. Okay, let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. You know the way? Yeah, I've been there. So, what exactly are we doing? 
This is the moonshine we took after blowing up the Braithwaite still, right? I think the good citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some reward, don't you? And it's time we made a formal introduction, like the Dutch told us. Look, these are two big old plantation houses, and all I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past it. I know. I've seen it. There's a gray boy and a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. I've been, well, helping them. The mind boggles. You think they're of use? Not sure. They don't seem too involved in the rest of it, but maybe. Well, I'm sure there's money in this for us somewhere if we can get in the middle of it. little homestead, isn't it? Hello, gentlemen, how are you? What's that in the back there? Moonshine, my fine fellow. May I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady. Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. May I speak with her? I want to discuss a business opportunity. I mean no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. <laughs> okay, okay. Ooh, she's at the house. We'll be watching you. You heard the man. Driver, proceed, please. the hills thought thought maybe you was in the market for it for what some liquor I ain't in the market for what's already mine the way we see it it's ours <laughs> well with us possessing it and I, I checked all over for the life of me I couldn't see your name on it oh relax I ain't here to rob you <laughs> oh it seems that's easy enough <laughs> why not do a deal what do you sell that stuff for Dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Well, look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> Pay the man. Pleasure doing business with you. And... Listen, uh, we didn't take it, at least not without orders. From... Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Mama! Hush now. I believe they call that a promotional expense. <laughs> As you wish, madam. You boys come back sometime and tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. All right. Next stop, the road saloon. Here we go. So I finally sold those Cornwall bonds. Got close to a thousand. I wanted more, but not that, considering how hot they were, especially after that bloodbath in Valentine. No, not bad at all. Apparently, Cornwall's been pumping a lot of cash into the Pinkertons. Wants to keep their full effort on going after gangs. Gangs like us. Yeah, that don't surprise me. 